All right, this is gonna be blade machining video number two, where I'll be cutting the bevels with my fourth axis. Uh, I stopped about halfway through this batch so I can show you what I'm doing. So, here we go. All right, so here's my blank from the first video. It's been machined on the outside, the pivot, locating hole, and everything else has been machined. It's been deburred, and it's ready to go on the fourth axis jig. So as you can see, I got a bunch of extra holes. There should only be four in here, and even some extra holes up top, because it took me a while to get the angle right so that my plunge line lines up with the front of the scale. So I got it dialed in now. I just have put the extra holes in. I'm actually gonna make two new fixtures. So for now, I'm just mounting them all on the same side, doing one blade at a time. But that's how it goes on, just like that, with shoulder bolts. And, uh, that's it. Alright, so when I'm doing these, it takes four operations. I do a semi-finish on this side, and a semi-finish on this side. So, op one and two are done. Now I'll flip it over, do a finishing op to get the rest of this cut, and then flip it over to this side and do a finishing op. I remove material a little bit on each side like that to reduce any chance of warping that it may have. Every piece of steel is different and every piece has stress inside of it. So if you remove a ton of material off of one side, there's a good chance it's gonna warp. So that's why I remove a little bit on each side and then finish on each side. So it's a little more work, a little more loading and flipping, but well worth it because I know I'm not gonna scrap out any blades. Okay, this is gonna be the last operation. That's the semi finish. Then fire this baby up. I'm gonna get the bottom of my glass. What the hell was that? Here's the last side ready for finishing. Hopefully, I will put the program in this time. And I won't break another end mill. That's what we like to hear. That's the finish pass. That's the tenth out pass. And then the spring pass. So no, that was a 10 tile pass, finish pass, sorry. I'm using my finisher for roughing and finishing now since I broke my rougher. And that's the spring pass. Next tool will be a ball end mill. It's gonna come down. And it's gonna put a radius on that edge for the opening hole. So here is the finished blade. Nice radius on that edge all the way around. 
both sides. Finish is pretty good. It takes quite a bit of stoning to get those lines out, especially on this side, it's a lot worse. The vertical lines that you can see going up right here are fairly deep. But that's what they look like. All right, hopefully you guys enjoyed that video of me crashing some end mills, getting a couple things done. Uh, I'm gonna get off this phone so I can focus and uh, get a little bit more productivity out of my time. But thanks for watching.